So Danny, a goal and an assist and a great performance from the team as well. What do you think of it? Yeah, um, great result, great performance. Um, given the conditions, given the heat, um, I think we managed that well. So yeah, overall, lots to be pleased about. How do you manage playing in the heat? Do you have to sort of temper yourself when it comes to not running as much or is it you just give it your um, and see where it goes? I think that definitely is part of you that looks to manage your energy levels. Uh, don't want to burn out too quickly, but really it starts from preparation at the beginning of the week, making sure you're hydrating well, coming into the game, maybe not staying out of the sun during the week, um, and then also in the game, managing the ball, um, ensuring that you know the tempo is not too frantic, there's not too many turnovers, we're managing transitions so we're not running big distances. So there's lots of things you can do to manage the heat, and I think um, overall we did it well. Four goals for you this season. Yeah. What's it like to be a centre back with that much freedom? Um, it's great when it plays to your natural strengths. Um, I think playing in the role that Gaffer's got me playing um, with that licence to go forward and create overloads um, is bringing out um, the strengths in my game. Um, and I think also he's shown a lot of trust in me, um, leaving me exposed sometimes in, in 1v1 duels. And so, um, I've got to make sure that you know I'm contributing on both sides of the pitch. So, from a uh, endurance perspective, it's quite fatiguing, uh, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And you've got two great centre backs next to you as well. How important is it as a team to have that foundation to then be able to go and create as many chances as you did today? Yeah, I think relationships in football go so so far, not just on the pitch but off the pitch. And I think uh, that's one thing we have in abundance. This group is. Yeah, uh, one of the best groups I've, I've, I've played with. Um, great lads, both on and off the pitch, push each other, um, help each other out, they dig each other out. So yeah, I couldn't ask for a better group of lads. The season's just starting really. How hard is it to maintain that mentality and maintain the, 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 the pressure as the games go on? Um, I think you just look at a game at a time. I think it's a bit of a cliche, but I think there's a lot of value to, to that. I think you can only focus on what's in front of you. What's behind you doesn't really count for much. It only counts for really giving you um, a basis to move, move forward from and to, to get better. So really it's just moving on to the next game. And I think in this league, with the amount of games you play, um, the frequency of the games, I think uh, that's all you can really do. And then finally, for your, for your goal, the, the header, I think it yeah. was, what's your thought process as the ball comes in there? Um, thought process first, lose my man. Um, I'm not the biggest of centre-halves, so I have to do my work early. So, lose my man, um, time my runs well, and really, I've said this before in interview, it's just a case of repetition. So, we work a lot um, in the tr on the training pitch, me and Ade, um, and uh, the set-piece takers, Gorma and Coax, um, we get the reps in, and then from that really it becomes just, a, I'm not going to say bread and butter, but it becomes a lot easier for you to time the flight of the ball, make good connections, and really today I should have, I should have had three. So, I mean, yeah, it's good, nice that I got a goal and assist, but I'm thinking I've left a few chances out there. Uh, but hey, um, kept a clean sheet as well, so that's a great, that's great, but yeah, overall not, not too bad. Danny, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it, gents.